Considering playing this game until one of my mutuals like f started fucking raving about it. <laughs> uh, if you guys know the artist cravat, um, hold on, let me. Um, they actually managed to get like a gig with Capcom because they made fan art for the game. <laughs> And, uh, I told Karat in DMs, I was like, you're the reason I'm playing this fucking game. And they just went berserk in my DMs. <laughs> so, this entire playthrough is dedicated to that cravat on Twitter. Um, I hope that my mods are gonna be, um very careful about uh spoilers in chat no it's just me i don't many, i don't know how many of my mods are around um but yeah i'm i'm actually excited i'm actually excited to play it now so um let me just do one more setup because I actually haven't opened the game yet, so I don't know how it's reacting on my computer. I should have probably done that before. Diplo Matt, thank you so much for the uh for the so hold on. Um It's it's definitely oh there we go. Aero spin. Time to play this in Japanese. Uh, here we go. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> I don't... I don't have a controller. So I'm gonna be... It's fine if I play with mouse and keyboard, right? <laughs> it's not... It's not a problem, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. T wow, type A. Oh, hey, I have a mouse. <laughs> Ah. Well, time to fucking hook up my goddamn controller. Here we go. Ah. Yeah. Ugh. It's fine. I got this. Uh, it might fuck with my audio because, like, when you hook up like a been a while since I watched a stream. Like, if you hook so, up like a PS5 it controller, it like fucks your entire like audio setup for no reason. Let's hope that doesn't happen here. Ah! Oh, nope. It seems like we're good. Is type 4? That's it, right? That's type 4? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we got it! Uh, can you guys hear that? Did it fuck no. I knew it! I knew the controller fucked with the settings! This motherfucker. Hold on. This bitch. Properties. Ah. Uh. Can you hear it now? Yes? Good. Alright. <laughs> awesome. I fucking hate PS5 controllers! Stop messing with my audio! You bastard! Uh, let me just quickly see that I can hear stuff still. And my headphones are actually properly working. 
All right, cool. We can't hear the fucking. I hate this fucking thing. All right, I can hear again. I fucking hate this PS5 controller. Kill it. Yeah, PS5 controller. It just works. <laughs> Ah! But that's fine. We managed. We managed. It's okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's go! Wait. Oh, uh, okay. You can check the controls from the options screen. Uh... Okay... A little boxer arrived at your door? Hell yeah! Okay, we need to turn that a, li a little bit down. <laughs> Is this good? Do you want me to have it like at this? At this? Which level do you want it at? Three, four. Three. Three's fine? Awesome. Controls, language... I don't think I need to worry about anything else, right? Extras? I don't feel like to press on that. <laughs> Turn the audio off? Uh, okay. Sorry guys, you don't get to hear the jams. Sorry. Music's gone now. All right. This fucking music bangs. <sighs> Polar Bear Pat thanks me for the five months. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swinging through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not, anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who could just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. <laughs> I'm already dead myself. <laughs> cool. This has gotta be me. No question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies laying around there? So long, sister! Nothing bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead! But just as I was thinking this... There's no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her! Oh shit! B what the? The whole world just changed on me! <laughs> Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. The voice in my head! Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm, just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your, your soul with... Oh. Oh! Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. <laughs> so what, now I'm a crossing gate? Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Ahem. Now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? How? In a moment time, we'll start to flow. Uh, 
In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Uh, hey, wait a second! I still don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Oof! Hold it! Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers of work. A ghost trick? <gasps> Title drop! Oh. You mean, I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do is perform a trick like that is press X. Now that the woman's fate has changed, I'll bite just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I entered the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it? <laughs> Guitar! Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Guitar. I see a guitar then, is it? <clears throat> hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. I would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach uh, cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out how oh, I fucked up. Who's there? Oh, shit. Uh, that's gotta be some of the souls running away I've ever seen. Huh, looks like we're gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is, is me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save! I like your attitude, it's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. All right, now we'll set time in motion. <laughs> huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. But I am non-living! I'm dead! <laughs> Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've got to be kidding! Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's... <laughs> it's easy! Here, give it a try! Oh, shit. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight had your future! Oh, she's fucking dead. Oh, goodbye. Can't believe we messed up already. Out of my way. There he goes. Damn, he's, he's moving real slow for that phone. It's done. I'm on my way. <laughs> we look so cool. The what? The fucking lamp! There it is! In the end, it looks like her fate remained unchanged, so what good are those ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking that, The lamp. Huh? Hello there! How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy. What happened tonight? Ah, uh, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Uh, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. 
It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Have you tried not tricking the ghosts? Unfortunately, kind of in the title of the name. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. It's true, for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? Well, what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, you'll have to possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. What this game? Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyways. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. <laughs> well, he's kind of dead, so... Trick time! Oh, what? That thought bubble you just pressed. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. Anyway, what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of standing. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just, uh, I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And L1 is your trick. <laughs> but yay! The L1 button. The best thing to do is try it. L1, eh? What? <laughs> Guess I'll press it. Damn, she's dead. Ooh. There's so many things we can possess. By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? <laughs> what about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of this uh, folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, Circle is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Oh, who's this we? We could just go. No, I'm not long in <laughs> I love this. What the hell? It looks like a wiggly little arm. <laughs> Come here. Ah! Oh, we can like just move everywhere. I can't trick it. I can't trick this either. Damn. What the what the fuck do I do? Oh. <gasps> Hello. I love I love how this lamp moves. Huh, that's funny. What is My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. <laughs> I love this lamp. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one. Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there's something else you can do. <coughs> Sorry, taking a sip. My throat is already dying. <coughs> Sorry, I'm good. Oh yeah, what's that? 
Why don't you try and see? Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm. It looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd be unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's... Uh, let's save her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life! Oh sure, you make it sound so easy! And it is easy! When you use your powers in a corpse... You can go back to the past, to a time four minutes before that person's death! Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that time limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy! None of it makes any sense! We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second! I still don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Rewind time! Oh. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Oh. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. <gasps> Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this? You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What? Hitman? Hit? Hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsic left in this country. Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. <laughs> yeah? As long as that bad boy wrecking wall stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Oof. Hold it. Who's there? Oh. A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me a nearsighted Jigo. <laughs> but I never let my prey get away. <laughs> Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future! Oh, wait. Could I just have entered ghost mode this entire time? <laughs> I just watched the- <laughs> Wait, probably not. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate. And a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate a ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like to. <laughs> now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. As many times as I want. <laughs> Yay, I can fuck up as many times as I want. <laughs> Thank you, video game. So this is four minutes ago. Eh, fine, I get that. What am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. 
So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in then. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. Oh. Thanks, Lamp. Uh, there are only four minutes left before she dies. You better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Oh. Oh, God. Well, it's starting. Time is passing. Oh, shit. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the right side of the screen. But the right side, eh? Uh, the sand at the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Go to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go, then. Wait. Oh, you can you can roll. Oh. Oh. Uh Hello. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh shit. Uh yeah, there's like uh, Yeah, I left in the country. Time sick. Yeah, it's just like the the die. Oh shit. Quick, 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 quick. Uh-oh, her time is running out. Uh, quick. Yeah. Shit. Eh. 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 Wait. Oh, wait, I messed up. No, wait. Ah, fuck. Okay, so we gotta turn it on and then move on the flag. There you go. Let's go! Wait, or not? Wait, what? Wait. Oh shit, fuck! No! Come back! Darn. <laughs> shit! Timing is important too when it comes to ghost tricks. Is that a fact? You can press. Oh. L1 and X anytime you want. Oh, okay. So keep an eye out for L1 even when you're manipulating. So I can press. Okay. Okay. This is kind of this is kind of fun. So once you get the blender and fan going at the same time, that's your chance. You have to be able to move to the flag then. You just have to find the right timing. Okay. Okay. Wait, so can I already? Well, the difference is that. Yippee! So long, sister. Oh, just a few more steps. Hope I make it in time. Oh, God! Get up there! Oh, so it like, so it like keeps what I did from the past. Now is your chance to change your fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Oh fuck. Uh. Well, the pedal won't. What if I ring? Mm. And now we can paddle! Damn it, what's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range! Paddle the bike! Paddle the bike! It looks like you made it in time, just barely. No, oh, she's still alive. And that split second hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Oh, never mind, she's just gone. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! The bridge is off. Paddle! 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 Paddle the bike! Paddle! Wait. You said her fate was changed. But it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. 
But there isn't much time left, depending on what you do. There's still the possibility of failure. I don't want to think about failure now. No, of course not, but still. If you ever feel like you want to start over. Oh, okay. Although you never know. Uh, you might learn a thing or two when time runs out, out too. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But right now, I'd better go after those two. Uh, so it's like... Oh, we can extend the la ladder? Save a lady's life. So danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger... Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. Only, and I knew you could do it. Well, she just watched someone die. <laughs> so I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. Alright guys, thanks for watching Ghost Trick. <laughs> When I came back to the present, it was raining. <clears throat> I had saved the life of the stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. <clears throat> the stranger. The bridge strikes a chord. And a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Ray. Oh, okay. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, uh, so you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet, either, actually. I, I can't remember. Yeah, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. That is to disappear. Disappear. When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. B what? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If you could use ghost tricks to save ourselves... Wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk clamp! <laughs> Why a desk clamp, anyways? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You'll be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well. Uh, oh wait, uh, about your death as well, you should. I will, but let's see, how should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. 
The first step? That's easy, you start with her. The person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right, and not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you gain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea! Oh, shit! Press L2 to view a record of what you've learned, and be sure to check it out now and again. Okay. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. The phone book. Alright then, I wish you good luck! Oh, okay, I guess... Um... Alright, me the mystery. I lost my life in a lonely spot in the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is a red-headed woman who witnessed that death. Red-headed target. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman. I saved her with my powers of the dead. <laughs> fucking lamp movement, dude. He's just fucking chilling. Ray of light. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. Hunter in the dark. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman and me. But he's gone now, due to an unfortunate accident. <laughs> I like the vibing lamp. I can't. Oh, it's the other way around. No. We can just shimmy as the bike! Are you kidding? I still... Eh, 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 I'm almost at her. Eh, eh, eh. I, I think this is so funny. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers! Is that- Oh, she's taking me with her. <gasps> Hello? Hello, little cutie. What the fuck? I look up and I see Rascal. He's actually laying on his bed right now. But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? Hmm. I want to see what that note, I wonder what I, w what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? How do I... Oh, I can just examine the note by... Okay. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it? No, I don't remember writing it. But even more importantly... Uh-oh. Huh, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from? How would I know that? Think back. 
Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't the telephone call come in at around this time too? No, oh, yeah! I'm on my way. That telephone call! Exactly, in other words, at this very moment, on the other end of this telephone line, is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you press the, uh, possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Oh, I can just, I have so many tricks up my sleeve. And then I saw him right there on the other end of the line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. <laughs> is it done? Speak up, man! Did you get her? Who is this? Yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> so that's him, eh? the man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do, do well to listen to me. We go success by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be? The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. It doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Huh. The desk clamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Well. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. Oh. Uh, oh! Oh, that's... <laughs> that's cute! You got a new phone number. Sis. And so the story of the search for myself begins, a story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning it will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answer before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Hmm. I, this is like the, the genuinely first time I have no fucking clue what this game is leading to, which is awesome. Listen to these. Oh, shoot. Sure, cool. Yay, illustrations. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answer to those questions is the man who ordered my, my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Yes! If what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight! Confound that new sighted Jigo! His skills are as feeble as his eyesight! Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Yes, but I say the last thing I've ever expected was to talk to the target himself, even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit to my good man, it put me in quite a tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music. 
And that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. I'd find the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. <gasps> Let's go! We can like... Oh shit. Uh, he taught me the secrets of the present of the dead. He wanted me to find out the truth behind the mysterious things happening in this town tonight. Hey, yo, 17 months. Time to look once more. Let's go! The man who gave Nier said Jigo the order to kill. He's probably behind my death and the red-headed woman's death, too. But this, but his motives are unknown. He appears to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in the strange room expertly. Didn't he fucking slap it? <laughs> sure did! Hello? Oh. Oh. Yes, how much longer, my good man? We are changing up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Mm, yes, but confound that, Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get a call in his next pay envel envelope. Uh, en envelope. Confound it! Or might I suggest clashes in his envelope? Uh, en envelope instead, sir. All right, let's examine those files. It seems this file contains information about that redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed. G great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and stabbed at me. My good man nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lynn, is no longer a threat, sir. But it's not what I'm talking about, man! Hmm, Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? Of this file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. We you suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir. Yep. Oh, shit! Oh, goodbye. Ah. Uh, um. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. What the? Lamp. Oh. Oh, I can't. Now I can't reach it. Oh, whoops. I I had a Hey God man, are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears to have been the seat man functioning, sir. Ah! Granted technology is certainly a convenient thing! But our use of it is just plain off! Confound it! I mean yes, in any case. I swear I keep hearing something. Give me like a second. I am indeed being tricked right now. <clears throat> I don't wish to see the face of our current tar target, my good man! As you were sure, in that case, why don't you just this, sir? Hey, that's me! Oh, that's. Uh, whoops. Mm, yes, Sissel! If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel? That must be my name. 
Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. What a fucking name, dude. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? That's what exactly was I up to, I wonder. We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Eh. Hmm, I can't do anything except for operate that thing again. I can't reach anything else. <laughs> can't do anything with that. Lost out after the lonely spot. Uh, my name is Sissel. I think there's a connection between me and Lin who witnessed my death. I was apparently trying to make a deal with a mysterious old man tonight. Her name is Lin. She's already been killed once by a hitman. Uh, his sniper carries gold god targa, blah blah blah. Tried to kill him. He's probably the culprit behind my death and Lin's death too. Apparently he's planning to carry out a deal with me tonight, but I don't know the details. Well, where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have to uh, have with each other? Hmm. Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing to get beyond this projector. Ahaha! Ha ha! Flip the situation around. Oh. Oh, almost. Ah, shit. Okay. Oh, the timing is hard. Okay. Oh, wait, actually. There we go. Okay. I see this room is giving me the heebie jeebies, my good man. What with paintings spinning around, and like it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completely recent. Uh, was completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, again, man, how am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Ooh, I can just operate this. Oh. -hoo -hoo. Affairs when I can't even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Egad! It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. Ah! The problem must be solved. Uh, must be solved, sir. You must lean problem, sir. What, then? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I said one step ahead, Tango, to her apartment, sir. The telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Oh shit. There's a danger again. Oh, boop, boop, boop. Eh, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> this is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands, uh, it only stands to reason. If the dark guard her first, uh, got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her... They'll only promote me to the head of the Hitman Division. 
Ah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. You can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott. Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confounded. You're even hanging up on one step ahead. <laughs> Yay. Hi. What's wrong, Rascal? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's good. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to say hi to Rascal? Hi, Rascal. What are you doing, buddy? Meow. Yeah? You like laying on the floor? What are you even doing? Rascal. Come here. What? Why are you meowing at... What is... Oh, God, okay. Hold on, I'll go pet the dog. The dog? <laughs> Rascal, are you a dog? I'm dog brain today. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of your sight of Gino's pay. Len, I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Uh, well, guess we're doing a trick, huh? Oh. <gasps> Did he kill a dog? The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate developments waiting for me, it seems. Huh? Huh? It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. Then an even unluckier little doggy, my poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about the situation fast. I, yeah, this dude deserves to die. And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like, and so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! I'm... you mean... you remember? You know who you are? It's fine! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! I'm a Pomeranian! Well, I guess I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy! Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! And I vowed to devote my life to protecting her! But I died before I could rescue her! How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, huh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. I had to save this... This... What? This... What? Am I stupid? <gasps> Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find about your... Uh, out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but... Where exactly are we? Huh? You... Followed me? I followed you! You brought me with you! One or the other. 
Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and- Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, huh? I guess it's reasonable enough. Come on, come on! Let's get started! Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to keep get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! <laughs> Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! The stock has multiple tails. Oh! Shut that much up! Now, Miss L, you're not supposed to bark! The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! Oh! You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, Billy? Boy! Why do you like to bark so much anyways? You're sure cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I only wanted to watch TV too. Hey, no, I'll listen to music. Oops, oops. Yeah, that was close. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Oh, there goes the donut. Oh, mouse. Oh, there's so much going on. I'll knock this ball down. when jobs outside the room scope crop up. If to put it down is a separate charge. And accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Are you fucking kidding? So that's the old dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow! Look at that! I'm dead! I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Let's get started in saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a, bit, a big bite out of that man's leg. I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Fuck em! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. I don't think you could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? The things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call... Her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things! Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Okay. What do we have? So, we have a door. We have a phone. A folding umbrella. Okay. Oh, what was she... What the hell was she doing? Ah, uh, she was looking for the remote. Okay. <laughs> what happens if I open the door now? Oh. So that's how that happens. 
Okay, so we can't go over there just yet. I don't... I like thinking. I think for now we just have to wait it out. Because I don't think bringing the telephone will do anything. No, Michelle, you're not supposed to bark. Yeah, okay. What if we interrupt her before she grabs the headphones? Uh oh, this isn't good. Miss Kabila is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. I know. When, uh, and once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Either the phone or open the umbrella. While she's. Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Oh no, darn. How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought these headphones too. How would we tell her you did it, Miss Al? <laughs> okay. Darn. Now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the go gods, eh? No, never mind that. The important thing is, we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Oh, fate change! Yippee! Uh, we can just retract the... <laughs> Ooh, donut time. Wait! I can just... Become. <laughs> oh, she just. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, whoops, I... Oh, it's so fast. <laughs> the question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong teeth and aggressive spirit. Oh, it doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on! Oh. Oh! Okay. Oh, I can't. Let me on the star. It's right there. My hope. I can't reach that! Okay, but I can reach this. Oh, you can rock the painting. Something just fell, and quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall in Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to uh, add to the number of ghosts around here. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh! 
so we oh we gonna open this door oh Ha! Huh. But now what? <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Oh, you see that thing flying? I like to tell you about shoving eyes, uh, stories under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait. Uh, wait a minute, under the sofa, eh? That might be a spot the Hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is how do we lead her under there? That's a good fucking question. Hmm. That does nothing. That could probably hit him in the leg, but... That also does nothing! <laughs> I like to bark at things that move. I guess everything looks like a toy to a little Tahagi, and now I bet our little lady will come over to quiet you down. Missile, if you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is, uh, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. Will it protect me if anything mad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will! It's quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to do it on the... Oh. Oh, shit. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it, goes, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Huh. We might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Okay. Yeah. And we move the cart. And then we rock the bowl. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can't make another donut fall. <sighs> what do we do now? Without the donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Huh. It looks like only one donut will fall. But the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Well, I assume... I assume at this point we can just, like... Reset? Well, uh, we should probably wait for the first time this happens, see if we can do anything. So we have the lead of the donut, but we just, we just gotta wait now. These donuts are onion rings. I haven't tried the phone yet. That's funny. What's wrong? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone's line glows red, but it's dark right now. Huh. Looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before death world. Now that makes sense. Oh man. I'm dumb as 
Uh, bricks. Ick. Oh, we're going fast. Oh, God. Yeah, the donuts are pretty skinny. What happens if we open this door? Oh, okay, so that's for the other rat. Okay. Floor lamp. Alright, that's shit all. Alright. Guess we'll just have to wait. Hey chat, how's it going? How are you doing? I'm gonna take a bite of this uh this wrap that I have here, this chicken wrap. Hell yeah. down to a few more seconds. Let's get me uh, We have to do something. We just have to. Nah, no, no, getting worked up isn't going to help. We're down to the wire here. Do I have enough time to do something to change your fate? Or is it time to use another one of my ghost tricks? Another ghost trick? What is it? We could rewind. Yes, I know. But the game literally said we should let it play out if we want to have extra information. She can now hear. So whatever we do, we better hurry. Two. That's some really long seconds, man. Can we hit him in the leg? Oh no, I guess we can't. Oh, never mind. Uh, I guess the dog just fucking dies. Listen up, little girl, I'm making you a deal. If you promise to keep quiet, I'll let you live. For now, anyways. What a shame. When well, I guess this brave little fellow refuses to accept our deal. Missile, no! Okay, he just fucking shoots Missile because he's a terrible human being. Okay. It doesn't seem like it can stop the intruder from coming in. And I guess the little doggy doesn't have much fighting power. People often tell me my name doesn't suit me. I guess the only thing to do is hide our little lady someplace. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's rewind time. Yep. After fate change? Well, I mean, we didn't fate change. So that doesn't... <laughs> so we're back at the beginning! <laughs> Yippee! Oh! Oh no! Okay, the headphones worked. Okay. Okay, keep that there. <laughs> uh No We have to throw missile. Don't throw the dog. Wait, so if I play... Oh! Oh! Okay! Alright! I see. Alright. Did 
This, this game is clever. I like this. Nintendo the ass. Okay. Yeah, the OG was. That's interesting. What was on the bottom screen? Fuck me! Stop! There we go. Evil. Never mind, it was the door that moved it. I thought it was the... Wait, then why does that exist? I'm so confused. Smart for puzzle games. I'm dumb as shit. Okay. A pink rat. doing the cutest things. Oh. Nobody's here, eh? I just fucking sits down on... My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. He just fucking eats a donut. There, a little lady's fate is averted. It has? The poor thing's still in, curled in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. The scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it. Didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I say, Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. <gasps> oh, thank you! Can I ask a question? I'm sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I... I guess that's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me! Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the power of the dead. What's going to happen to me now? Not really, your death has been erased. Let's go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But, we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we better get back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And there goes the dog. And now a new present is born. The lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. 
and the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Still at the junkyard? All right, got it. I'm on my way. Oh shit. She's just staying at the junkyard? <laughs> I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let near sighted Jiko beat me on this one. I better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. <gasps> Lynn! Oh! I need to move! Uh, let me... Oh, hold on. A call from Lynn, eh? Sounds serious, I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Hit! Ah! Uh. 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 There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor, jamming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess other creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desclam taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy do with a core? Ah! Uh. your name. Uh, I guess it's gonna be right into each other again, then? This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean I forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, the tearful goodbye, I miss Sile! But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course! All of it! Okay, let me get this straight. Remember being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if then, if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Wait, that changes things. That means we can talk to Lynn. So we can just talk. <gasps> that Camilla, it never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets one that, uh, on that, uh, black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. <laughs> no matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that's what you, uh, was you showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I! Camila, oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now. Oh, what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. And you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. It's a present. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. And you can't very well call it a music box then, can't you? More to like, just box? Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Oh, well. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Uh. Excuse me. Oh shit, phone's broken. Oh god, ah, f fuck. Not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Miss? <laughs> the dog did it. But I sure hope Lynn's all right. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Miss Al? Help me look, okay? Oh, so we already... We already, yeah. And 
there's the... <laughs> this is it, the music box! I'll leave the remote here, but don't you touch it, Missa. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flat underneath that wall when I came home. Wait, why are we leaving the dog? Okay, I'm leaving now, Missa. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while, I, uh, while I'm away and no barking. Well, let's hope. Nothing bad happens. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there is something I must do. Because, oh god, sorry. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Let's fucking go. Damn. Hold on. I want to eat more of my brat. Oh, I'm very hungry. I didn't have dinner. <laughs> Thanks for that! I said at the beginning of the stream, it's your fault! <laughs> I'm playing Ghost Trick! Yeah, give me like two- Give me like four minutes and I'll- I'll- I'll continue playing. I just want to eat this crap. So you can't see the lamp jams.
Ryder, how did you make it so wide? What the hell? BATTV modifiers? I see. God. <laughs> Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast! Well... What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. But the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. I think you might be right there. Oh. Uh, but I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these parts. Okay. Oh. I'm not gonna fall down. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it! You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Hmm. Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door, and I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though if you don't mind. I have to do something to change the situation. If I can create just a little more racket somehow. Pound this wall open! Oh. Where did the dog go? Oh. Did that? Wait, how? What? What killed the dog? What killed the dog? I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. It feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. But the TV and the star ornament aren't. <laughs> I'll never bark again, not as long as I live! But, wait a minute. It looks like all the commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? <gasps> oh! The barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is still standing, just like before. There are paths only the dead can't see. Oh, those kinds of paths. Okay, so the dog's still alive. Okay. He's just... Oh, okay, dog's alive. Oh, I'm free. Wait. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. Go save this Camilla and Miss Lynn. I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. Hold on. But you will save them, right? If it helps, if it helps me along the way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla too. We create our own paths, right, Miss Saul? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. 
It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If I ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path just like you did. Oh. Uh. Well, you're, they're definitely trying. Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Oh, I need to get some inspiration from the muses. Is this bottle and some cheese? Here's to the boorish people next door. Oh. Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? There's a rat up there. Well, here I am in another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? Huh? Why is there just... Oh, someone's sick in bed. I thought that was like a fish. There's a fish in bed! There it is, the telephone. Now if I can just borrow it. Fimsh. Even now, Lin Li Lin's life is in danger. I have to use that phone and fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it out bring it to me. Guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. Hmm. We could just let the rat in. Oh. No one Listen. can escape my play ghost trick agenda now. Ha 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 ha. Yeah? This thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by uh, hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. That's cute, it could just turn. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we can't resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you, even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to, uh, to nag at me until I'm sure. Woman. Let's see. I know I put it here somewhere. Now where could it have gone to? We're just messing with the rat at this point. Oh. Okay, the rat's gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's back up there! No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong, it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered. If you can be overwhelmed by something, can you be just plain whelmed? This is going to dagger me until I'm sure. Wait, how did she not see the the rat? What? Ma'am? Okay. I don't care what they might think. What do the plebeian masses understand anyway? Certainly not her love. Hmm. What is this Prime Minister talking about? I've never even heard the word plebeian before. It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Oh, she just... Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Perhaps, my darling angel. Mama! I can't... Fuck. She brought the dictionary all the way over here to look something up. And regardless, here it sits, all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot she even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Huh. Is irregardless really a word? <laughs> I can't do anything here. No, I'm stuck! <gasps> what is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, Mama. My poor dear, no wonder with the fever of 102. Here's to a night of fever, harsher than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you have to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go. And I and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here's to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Today's Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Are we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Oh, she fucking kidnapped the kid? Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. Well, it depends. Did she just win in court? Or did she actually kidnap her daughter? Because that's a thing that can actually happen. These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. It sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, man. I can't do shit. Oh, my lamp is out. Huh? Huh? My darling lady, the thing that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Prime Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I made a typo. The telephone is right over there. If only I could get to it. I just need to jump over there somehow. Better keep my eyes open for just the right timing to make a move. Oh my god. Wait, how do I... Oh, come on. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 
I am here now. Fuck! I like it. I I think it's so funny that you can just do that. Like wiggle. It's so funny. Are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. Let me talk to Emily. I mean, Emily, then at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa! Now I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again, I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Oh. We can just go there. Troubled man's office. But what if I want to... Can I check out other stuff? No, I can't. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this man's, uh, this woman's husband. I should go find my only lead first. The hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry. Oh, no, I can't do anything. I'm literally just stuck here. Pew, 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 pew. All right, hold on. I want to read this. Uh, after she found the little girl in her apartment, I lost track of her. A hitman is after her again. This hitman who, on the old man's orders, is targeting Lin. His name is One Step Ahead Tango. He's nearsighted Jigo's rival. Upon hearing that Lin was still at the junkyard, he had it there at once. And he's a fucking dog murderer! Bastard! Her name is Camilla. Uh, Camilla. Over the phone, Lynn asked her to find a music box hidden in the apartment and to bring it to the restaurant. A friendly little Pomeranian. His name is Missal. His mission is to protect a little girl who is his mistress. He's doing his best right now to create a path to choose us that. Not anymore, but he w the fact that he still won makes him still a dog murderer. Lynn's neighbor. She lives in an apartment decorated in red with her daughter. Apparently, she's a novelist who moved here due to a disagreement with her husband. She refused to answer the phone anymore tonight. The daughter of the woman in purple. Her name is Amelie. Because of her fever of 102, she isn't going out for a lesson tonight. Apparently, she and Camilla are friends. She's worried about her fa father's birthday. Uh, careworn gentleman. He sits alone in his stately office, tearing out his hair. He is frantic about his wife, the woman in purple, who has left him. Fine. Are you all right, sir? I order all of you not to come near me! Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir! Oh boy. 
Another strange room. And another strange person. I wish his telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh! Hmm. Oh my lord! Dude, what the fuck? Okay, that does nothing. Oh, wait. Eh. That doesn't help. If I die, it just lets me... Yeah, okay. Oh, wait! I can... I can just go back to the junkyard now? But I guess there's nothing here. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Oh, wait! Never mind! Hello? Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. <gasps> it's Lamp! And besides them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Welcome back! You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know. Into your murder. My murder case? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Oh yeah, and then the line went dead. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the f fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm, I better see what I can find out. Hmm. Well, I can't do anything. Help! Oh! Huh, he's saying something, but I- Oh yeah, it's- it's- okay. Quite a thing, huh, this case? Yeah. What of our own? A murderer? That's a little roll over this. And she's a rookie, too. I heard she was carrying on some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't giving crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. Huh? Hey, you! She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigations Unit. Huh. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, my detectives shouldn't be sitting around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. <laughs> like me. Like me. Hmm. I mean, we can't... We can't do anything. I can't... We can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took under the chest. Bring the stretcher, it looks like the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head uh, of the Special Investigations Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigations Unit? What do you want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella is our top investigator. If you don't want to get him, I'll bet out of shape, or there'll be hell to pay. Uh, don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for, either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch out what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Oh? Hello? Oh, is that... The guy... <laughs> who the fuck are you? Dude, who are you? Oh, the teen detention of a crime scene. Dude, who the fuck are you? Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Who 
who the fuck is this loser? <laughs> Boys, how's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to be one sore. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. <laughs> so this is the head of the Special Investigations Unit. He seems... Uh... Unique? Oh... My god. He thinks he's the main character, yeah. Deal me the deal! How's it going over there, baby? Going? How's it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about far, fair to average, if I had to say yes. It's going all right. Not a man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. Oh. What is going on? Ah, uh, sorry about that, Inspector. Just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some uh, such. Yeah, I'm, uh, sorry about that. We'll start doing your sticking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir! What the fuck? Now then, sir! If I may make your report, sir! Doc! Yo-ho! Oh, Doc! Stop talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Uh, don't you need to tell me how to do- Don't need to- Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Any hoot, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I just heard to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. The super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Uh, just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect and- Yeah! Nothing like it, baby! Oh my fucking god. Carry on, boys! Good luck, sir! Okay. Lamp, I need your help. Please. Ray! 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 Ray, please! Shit. Oh. It appears to be the entrance to the nearby deserted, lim dimly lit park. The voice of two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! Uh, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character. A questionable person. No, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, alright, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't do anything here either. I can't even read that. Alright, time to leave. 
time to have like a good look around everywhere. Let's see what's happening in a luxurious parlor. Oh, this light doesn't seem to work. Guess I can't go there right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, yep. Yeah, that doesn't work either. What happens here? Hello, I'm back. Still typing away passionately, I see she'd type her fingers to the bone to complete her tale of love, I imagine. Little girl with the fever seems to be sleeping now. I hope she's having sweet dreams. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Ah! Oh! oh, I guess not. Okay, we still can't do anything, so it doesn't matter. Let's leave. Oh, God. Oh, he's still fucking moping. He still appears to be deeply troubled. If he doesn't have any work to do, why doesn't he just go home and go to bed? Maybe the fact he doesn't have any work to do is what has him deeply troubled? I have quite a bit of work to do myself. Don't know which of us is in a more en enviable situation, though. Okay. Bro's still just... Sad. Alright, time to go back. I guess there's just something I missed. <laughs> He's doing the not like this emote. Okay. We can't. Mm. Ugh, that Inspector Cabanella, he sure has a strange air about him. I can say that again, and I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion the same error way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Can't do anything with the traffic cone. Can't do anything with the door. Can't do anything with myself. I think we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol! Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? We can just exi imagine if we just fucking shoot it. This is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, huh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. I've seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is... Oh. Fool, if you want to fire that thing, aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. Guess we- Huh? But what was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun. Uh oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Uh, if you say so. <laughs> okay, Ray. Ah, uh, there you are! Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's uh, office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see until you never wear a green suit again! Yes, sir! I'll set it right up, sir! Oh! Let's go. To the park. Uh, super, super's office. Fuck. Please, Doctor, go to the superintendent's uh, office immediately. <sighs> if I must. The way, he, the way he walks. Oh, wait. W what's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That sh uh, shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Let's go.
Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard at the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be awaiting on the other side of the line. Did they kill Lin again? Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper is interested in tonight. But as long as there is anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> hey, let's go! Hey, Ray. <laughs> Little lamp. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected. All ex uh, except for one thing. Yeah. No, Lin! Hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash found her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. Investigate, I investigate, and you superintend. You have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each other to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Pigeon dude. What? Oh, okay. Bye, man. Oh! What? <laughs> Why are you... I... Doc! What took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I can't decide the voice for this dude. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Well. Now we're the lamb. How about a dog? Can you save her? She's not breathing. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. Only thing we can do now is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Lynn, how could I let this happen to you? Oh, notebook. On top of this uh, blind eye pink notebook, somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the super uh, superintendent's way of tidying up. Oh, hello. What the fuck is down here? Oh, the dude's just like chilling. This must be the basement. There's an old man from before. I can't see very well in the darkness, but it looks like a pretty strange room. But never mind it. I'd better go to see about Lin. Oh, okay. Um. Oh! Unconscious this time as well, huh? Where am I? Coming too? What, what happened to me? Uh, excuse me, are you ignoring me? Uh, oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? <sighs> Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Uh, who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. Uh, Lin? <laughs> Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, it's kind of a, uh, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are, are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose.
Did... Did she... Lynn. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue I with the really it. unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take it and look at you're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. I'd be pretty he uh, heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There! Now this is more like it! Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ugh, everything is so confusing! Can I do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy! And I've got something to ask you about. I'm looking for the answer to the question, who am I? And why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it! I knew you were the lead I needed! This game is just... so good trademark. <laughs> Thanks for the 420! I don't think I can help you. B why not? Because I don't know you. What? what do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me! No, I said I remembered something I remember... I... No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way! So I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you die tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right, you know, remember? Huh, yeah, I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. I wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. So you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happen to meet tonight? Yo, thanks for all of the resubs and subs, by the way. No way! I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Yo! Thanks so much for the sub! Let me just drink more, uh, drink. Can you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding! Y you mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you! Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere! You gotta be kidding me! Goes without saying that I don't remember. Gah! Everything is so confusing! Can you do something? Mm. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. B why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. 
A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life... I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I... I know it's selfish of me, I, I really apologize, but I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case, in spite of all that. Am, am I out of line? Then I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me. Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like, uh, some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So you're ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? That's reward! Probably a bad thing to say to the guy who can revive you. I mean, just not promising to figure out about someone's, like, death, I think... I mean, he just said it. You're not going to use it as a bargaining chip. Like, if, if you... Like, you just are like, um, no, I'm going to, uh, not save you if you don't figure out about me. It's kind of like a dick move. <laughs> One second, Def. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. But with, with how the game's going, I'm pretty sure she will. <laughs> Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I would? Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, sir! Oh, it's hers. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me! It's chicken, all right! One chicken dinner! Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You won't! Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that! Inspector Cabanella is on his way! He'll be here any minute! Evening, Patrolman! Good evening, Inspector! Cabanella, sir! Nice work now. Do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow! Yes, sir! Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my lens in a cri in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspect, suspected, sus. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before! <laughs> never, baby! Oh, well, uh... Before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him there. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me! I see, I see! But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. Oh my god, this fucking dude. 
You know, I don't suspect you, baby. It's trying to clear things up. You're not the type to, to ever shoot anybody. Hey, hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything's ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby! Oh... It's through the window. It seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? this man into a hydraulic press. Me too. No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me, I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try, our four-minute game. Yeah, we just have to, like, pause at the cor correct time. And just, like, move the bullet. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says with eyes gleaming. Oh, boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right. And I know the telephone number to the junkyard. Payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what the, they say about three strikes if you're out? As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Let me look around first. Well, down here's nothing. We can't do anything here. Except move this. Let's go. That's a photo. These pictures are old. What are they off? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch! This lady's tongue can be sharp. <laughs> uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? <sighs> Why did you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is. But it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. Fucking microscope. Wait. Yes, sir! Oh. Oh, now we can use the book to move. Oh! <laughs> Hello! The chicken kitchen! You want chicken? We got your chicken! I'm not going to do a fake Italian accent. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Why does his nose look like a forget? Well, he could also be French. How about French? <laughs> Let's go. Hello? Where would you like that delivered? They hung up. We're just at the chicken kitchen. Oh god, no! Daddy sing! La la la! 
What does it matter? Took an order to lost. If it were three orders, that would be a different story, no! La la la! I can't do it. I feel like a fucking loser. Telephone book. Menu board. Bell! We just popped over here while we had the chance without much thought. But this is the hitman who's trying to kill me. Clearly. We probably had to hurry back. <laughs> Yo, the 12th Eidolon. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. What's the matter? The cell phone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it doesn't see it now. But we came here by telephone line. Apparently in this four minutes before Death World, we can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. Okay. Okay. Gotta wait now. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh shit. I have a bad feeling about this. Let me through, let me through, let me move. Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to, uh, oh. What? Don't do that! Let me, let me move. Let me move. Oh shit. No, let me move! There we go. Ugh. Uh, oh, can we only go? going over to the restaurant now. Right, can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside in the junkyard where the hitman lurks. And the only way to go there is to use the telephone lines. Fuck. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. What if we... Um, hit him. Never mind, it doesn't work! When I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. They told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here is Dan. Maybe we need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. So you didn't hear what the officer just said? Yeah, strange tastes that fellow has. His taste is perfectly normal. Hmm. But anyway, not that part. The part about the order he got. The order to telephone outside if anything sus- uh, of Telephone, huh? I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. So if the police officer sees anything suspicious, the state of affairs might change. Hmm. They just don't know this. Uh, okay. Well, shit. Oh, wait! <laughs> there he is. The, the, the dude. God. There's nothing we can actually do.
Yeah, well, unless we can hit him while he's on the phone with the with the lamp. Uh oh, it's mine. Isn't it adorable? Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you, when you panic? Who were you calling, anyway? It was personal business. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, hold on. That's when she gets shot in a moment. Time is passing, I know. Hey, do you guys see the lamp? Oh! Never mind, let's go back. All right. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's how you just move forward normally. Keep going, let's go! Oh, that's the speed up button. I'm a fucking idiot. Can we hit him with the lamp? No. <laughs> that would be funny. There we go. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook! Hey, wait a minute! I thought you was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question! I'd better report this! I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Trick time! Into the phone we go. What's up? I've been watching Lin just like you told me to. I've noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cavanello was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, huh? Yes, sir! I'm a very sus uh, in a very suspicious manner! And in a very conspicuous place! Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook! Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let, uh, on you notice anything. Quick! Move over! Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red! I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's what a horrible hitman who's after me is, too. Let's go! Woo-hoo! I've been waiting for you! What are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old gramp. Do I really have to make a new voice for Ray? Oh my god. I'll just stay with the normal voice. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? <laughs> you just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? For souls, we can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level, a sit, a skid few uh, minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. 
All right, I'm going in. I'll get in with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. This is so annoying. Now I do. <sighs> Ah, I'm eating more of my fucking crap. Fuck. Dude, my art that I drew makes even more sense now. What the fuck is up with that lamp? Sorry guys, I'm almost done. Give me like a second. I'm also quickly gonna go get another drink because like doing the voices is like really hard on my throat. so much. 
all of you are getting put in the hydraulic press as punishment. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair! Well... Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Oh, God. Carry on, boys! Boop, 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 boop. Wait, can I hear? Listen to anything? Oh, yeah. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop it if we stay down here. Let's go then! I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Cleared the curious. Huh? Okay, so we can't do anything here. Let's just... Okay. Ah... Uh, Alright. Turn on. Turn this on. Okay. Now we're up here. Well, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make good. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to make good and sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Wait. How it hit, um. Start all the way over here again. At least it's not too long. There we go. Why is he like that? What what the fuck is this dude, man? Come here. No, oh, there we go. <gasps> there he is. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month for now for sure. <gasps> there he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast! Oh god. There, we put a stop to that shot at last. At least, we did it, so I'm safe for now, right? 
Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The Heaven is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really, is, uh, uh, is really gonna stop him. If you want to uh, rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Woof! Time to wiggle! Nope. Okay. Can't wiggle. Oh? Ah, there he is now! If I want a position, I have to be careful for of even the least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. Oh, look at that, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day. I had to pedal my bicycle to place to, uh, to work at the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things away too far. Uh, oh god. So that means he's going to be up there again. Yep. Oh dear. Hey dude. Stop that. Asshole. Now he's going to be over there. Ah, come on. Look, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Alright, time to put on the, uh... Ah! Come on! Ha! Ah! Yeah. Maybe we can turn on the, uh... Why can't you see him? Right there! Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? It was me. It went off all by itself. It scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. Won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much. Especially on a dark night like tonight. Come here. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh fuck, no, come back! <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> oops! Well, um, we have indeed messed up. Uh-oh, the umbrella got knocked away over here. Now we can't go anywhere. Guess that's what you get for touching Inspector Cavanella's umbrella. He's always setting up traps for people. Dark, now what? Uh, oops. <laughs> oh, whoops! Shouldn't have done that. I've tricked myself. I've ghost tricked myself. Ha 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 
Okay. Time to turn off that searchlight so the dude can't uh, do the shot, right? Whatever. Oh my god. There he is! Walk back, man! Walk back, man! Fuck you! Okay, these lights are on now. Where else is he going to shoot from? Oh, nothing comes. That's funny. I thought his owner was for swinging the crane from our farm arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. Oh, this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. Where is he now? Oh my god, no fucking way! It's quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never, uh, never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division has used to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him! Hold up, where did I become- when did I become her assistant? Oh! <gasps> Oh. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Yay! We're assassinating the assassins! Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my, my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm... So sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? <laughs> if you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. <laughs> okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. Alright, I guess I'll die. <laughs> Don't do that. One has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. Oh, the cops are gone. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta climb up. Or use the umbrella. Yes! Oh, fuck. Hi, Ray. How's it going? Oh, okay. I guess we're not going to talk then, sorry. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You raised yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? 
Well, that she's alive again, she's probably still uh, being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Oh yeah, it's and that was the dog killer. So thank God he's dead. Who knows how many dogs he killed? I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With a changed fate, her story was sure to change too, and maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me anyway? Nice! Chapter 5 When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained. A suspicious uh, suspicion of my murder, but I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate, or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. You to we told you not to let the suspect of your sight! My apologies, sir, but I never th thought she would run away! Lynn is our angel, I mean, friend! I mean, she's like family to us! Angel, friend, or family, they all run when they have the chance! Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? Ouch. I'm very sorry, sir! I have no idea, sir! You'll never make detective at that rate! Now find Lynn! Yes, sir! If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. Yeah, maybe she ran away for a reason, dude. So our red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Huh, <laughs> she's fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. Oh, I could just... That's gonna start making noise soon. Ah, uh, he's still there. It just might be time to clean this room up. But will that close the matter? Her appearance here of all places and tonight of all times. I don't think it's coincidence. Okay. Hello there. That old pigeon man. Do you suspect he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these position instruments and complicated devices. Uh. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped through here. Oh, the trash chute. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool! Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. What a weird thing to say. I'm very sorry, I had no idea, sir. Huh, you'll never make detective at that rate. Anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Uh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. It won't open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir! Well... These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir! Why did no one tell me I could do that? Yeah, I didn't know. I'm in your mind! Oh shit! I could swear you saw this thing move! Don't tell me, could it be? 
If it senses the tension between me and the detective and move to get away from it? That was an unexpected tangent. I'll never make detective at this rate. But I need some sort of achievement, a, uh, a feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead that might do the trick. Helpful and binding me, obviously, to staying in the face right now. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. <sighs> what to do? What to do? This is a very complicated matter. What have you got there? What this? Oh, uh, this is a... Uh... Wait a minute, is that... Y yes, sir, it's Lynn's notebook. No, oh, okay, come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call? This must be it. The telephone number with the big circle around it. Are you curious to know who she was calling? I am! I really am, sir! I'd like to know! Oh, but I don't have any ulterior motives for want wanting to know, though, sir. This number might be an important lead. I better check it out. Quick! Get on the phone! Get on the phone! Hello, to whom am I speaking, please? Y yes, hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCaw? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh, did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did you say anything special? No, not really. Something wrong? Yes, well, uh, I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Huh. Let's go to that area. I'm going to go file a report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, Detective, but... What is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Uh, never mind, sir. Just stay on your toes. That cop sits like me during family dinners. Say Lynn. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I would probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the world mean the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. That was my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. A according to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all the risks to call, eh? But what exactly is this place? Uh. <gasps> I can't reach. No. Now I can. Oh, I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> hey, what's this? Uh, oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep it in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Here's a little brain power. Ah! What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Oh, I didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. So let's see this is important to-do list of yours. 9. Take prisoners. C-38 to the telephone room. 
Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. I know, that's when Lin usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Ah, oh, poor Lin. Sure wish I could comfort her. Oh! But what do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay, I got it all memorized for you. But, well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know? Just make sure you do your job when the time comes! <gasps> phone! Phone, 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 phone! <gasps> Hello? L Lin! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. Uh, I'm sorry, Detective, I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved, that's why. Oh. <sighs> By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Uh, oh, really? Oh. Why? Thank you so much for the, for the sub. Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I... Uh... Oh. Well, I gotta go. I'll call again tomorrow. What the fuck is happening? Oh boy, well I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey! What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty! Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can write it up for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, is that what she asked you to do? Long gang, thank you so much for the sub as well. Hope you enjoy your time and your emotes here. I made them all myself. Ta tee hee. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna probably try and make more soon. <laughs> well, is not that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... Tonight is kind of a special case for us. I can't make a special exception for my Lynn, too. <sighs> special case. All right, you win. Woo! I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I better hurry. Let's go! Oh! Oh, she's dead. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm not used as a police officer. It should have been me. It looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? Hi, excuse me, mister! You're talking to me. This room! There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? How did- how did- We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands! One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into thin air, in a vacuum! Let's go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir! <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, huh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around uh, at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can write time and talk to the victim herself. Guys, it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. My god. Poor Sizzle. <laughs> I died again. <laughs> yeah, me too. I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. 
Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened to this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay, just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, it looks like it's time to go back back to four minutes before your death. Oh my god, what is this game? Ah, oopsie, I died. <laughs> How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that time wasn't ripe. <laughs> oh my god! How the fuck? Oh my god, how? He hung up. There's so much happening. Women are liquid! Yes, they are. But not me. I'm not liquid. <gasps> what? Um, uh... Oh my god, it's a trap. That's the truth behind our locked room murder. So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine. Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. She genuinely could have just moved out of the way, yeah. Wait, could we do something evil and fucked up? You know what, Sizzle? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murderer is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures. But I can't manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minute ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. Hi, Milky! Oh god. Thank you for the rain! Quit playing ghost trick! game it is pretty fun good game yeah it's pretty fun it looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this device how long has it been oh yeah okay Okay. 
How did you manage to cram yourself in that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. Yeah, the problem is we have that entire dead thing going on. Oh, um, is this the superintendent? I'm so glad I thought I was all alone. Let's go. Let's go over there. We probably can't do anything there, but I think it's funny. Can we? Well, tea's ready. Lynn ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle ne nearly scared me to death. My life is a complete shambles! That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to uh, warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he have preferred getting scalded by the steam? <laughs> Ouch. Well, at least his fate was changed a bit. That's good, anyway. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait, that actually worked? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if we were on a pudding, uh, on a pudding green. Wait. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it into some use here. Good thinking, I just might be able to use this trick somehow. And it could change the path the ball takes. It's great and all, but it looks like we're all of time this round. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh no, she is dying! Come on. Oh, fuck! Ah, uh, it wasn't at the right time. Fuck me. So close. Okay. There goes the murder machine to start it. And if the whole thing plays on, that gun on the wall will go off. But before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here it goes. Okay, the ball is there. And... Oh. 
What just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased again. I, uh, thank you? You kept your promise, didn't you, Sizzle? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any of my promises. It's all for my own benefit, anyway. Well? How has this girl survived this long without help, especially in her field of work? That's the funny part! She didn't! <laughs> Be all about. <sighs> I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end. Those. Hello, Shenpai. It's been a while since I last visited. Recently, I've been powering through Hollow Knight, but I've also been going into Guilty Gear Strive and Fear and Hunger too. As for Ghost Trick, have fun. Thank you. It's last. <gasps> Thank you so much for the for the 50 euros, Blitz. I appreciate it. Dude, I hope you have fun with Hall. I fucking love Hollow Knight. I I want to do another playthrough where I re like replace all of the uh, sprites. Um. Uh, of the of the Hollow Bug as the small one, but that would like take five billion years. But I thought it would be cute. Because I did, I did replace a running animation at some point. I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> those things that went off at the end, those were party poppers, weren't they? Oh, whoops. Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? Oh my god. Sizzle, are you there? Lena's talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. Well, the easiest way we can do it is... Oh. You are here, I knew it. I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. D hey, did I say anything? There, that tone! It's a tone of yours that makes me mad! So, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case, all by yourself. Yes, well that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why! There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Len is my only lead. I would like to ask uh, her about a few things. But what does it... You're like saying it like it matters. I'm about to die. I'm about to disappear. Why are you being secretive? You have your life and your memory back now, so let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish you could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. 
Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me, so why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what I info had for her. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missa. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. <gasps> oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anyone want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? That does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admit it you need me and need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm, com I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's... too bad. So I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight, at the junkyard. And you fell for it, even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seems. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. Well. Alright. So what are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah, what was it? The chick- the chicken kitchen? On Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Cecil? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even you can't cooperate with me. How about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea. You're on. What can I- what the- That is a cooperation! That is quite literally a cooperation! Both of you are head empty! But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. A prison. That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule? For a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. This prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Okay, see you later. See you. But don't die again, if you can help it. Wait. Ah, there he is! It looks like I hold the key to the case Linda's investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we sort of have a strange relationship of cooperation. Flynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I better get to the prison. Fucking... Gray. God damn. Aww! Nice. Chapter 6. Nine. Is your voice okay? Yes. I think? Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. 
The detective assigned the dead guy a task. I'm gonna. This is probably gonna be the last uh, chapter I do for tonight. Because uh, I'm gonna need to rest my voice, and then we can finish it on Wednesday. Because tomorrow is Final Fantasy XIV day. If, if, like from what I think. If this is like, if I'm thinking correctly, 12, I, I can't actually say, I don't know how long this game is and I don't want people to answer. Too bad the VOD's gonna get deleted after it's over. Wait, what? Why would the VOD get deleted? Oh, did... Did Twitch, like, private the VOD again? Are you kidding? Uh, it'll be up after I finish stream. So don't worry. It'll, it'll be up. It's just Twitch being stupid. So, like, what Twitch does... Um, if they hear any amount of copyrighted music... Uh, in your stream, they turn off uh, public VODs. Just automatically. And they do that every single time. So I'll just have to re-enable that. Which uh, makes me roll my eyes. Yeah, I know, but it's still like so annoying that it just automatically does it. Like, what the fuck do you mean? It doesn't matter in the end. Angry. Uh, the detective assigned the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. What's going up on up here? It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. Ugh, forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lynn probably doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives you will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? Uh, uh, okay, I mean, fair. Okay. So what were the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this. It kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ooh. He's... The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. Uh... I want to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. D99. Alright then, how do I get to these cells? I'm gonna try to get some information here first. Uh, it doesn't... I can't get that far! I have little dangly spirit arms. Please. 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 The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. 
I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these little rooms are. Come on, Sizzle! A little bit longer! Ah! Hey, Bailey. Try pinning up your medals a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspect prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detective who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice in the double. Curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office. But the flamethrower torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. Seriously. The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? That's a complete mystery. What? Why didn't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Huh. <laughs> Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Oh. Oh god, the guns. There you go again, fooling around with that thing! It wasn't me. Don't lie, you know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergencies! Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always act exactly the same way. Ugh! Emergency switch is probably just loose, probably because I fool around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it! Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? But close back up. It's making me feel an edge. No, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. Yeah. <gasps> That's scary. Why is there just a bazooka? Same one, huh? I can't get over there. Or there. What if I use... What if I activate the bazooka? What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly. Let me see this. Take prisoner C... Okay. What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being, uh, broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their en encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder, because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? Oh, I'm lost. The song they were uh, doing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that a huge incident? 
Oh, because the new lyrics expose all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign econ economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously. Uh, the case sent shockwaves through the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Oh. Maybe they did, but they... <laughs> okay. Huh. Twice now. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Bazooka. And it's closed again. But I can't do anything. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> again. This is the kind of excitement I need to wake me up. Well, I told you, it's only for emergencies. Don't play with me. And I told you it wasn't me. You know, I, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job. Going on rounds or building houses out of cards. Well, you better know. And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. Well. Can't do much. Oh, wait, there's another one? Hey, Bailey! Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D90- Ah! The chef is preparing it for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case, hard for us too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member? This is awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything, all complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently, this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99 who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind the beard of his... I don't like any of it. I knew I wouldn't- I couldn't take my job seriously while it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for d was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. Would you quit for my- yeah, okay. It's time. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Uh. Oh! <gasps> now I can get to the TV. Yeah, it's done. Oh shit. I really want to let that that memo loose again. Well, unless it's the same memo. Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who's saying the national secrecy. Uh, if he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Oh. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for the spiky-haired youth to express himself. Something like, I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. <laughs> God. Oh, fuck, I missed it. 
Wait! Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm on the guitar now. All right, C38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now, let's go. Yeah, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Um, th there is a lot going on here. So I finally made it to the cells. <laughs> Not to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lint possibly want with that information? There is too much going on, man. Damn! Don't think I can take another second of this stinking pit. Looks like Guardman is gone. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Oh! Come on, sausage head! Okay. Huh. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D9 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lin said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spiky Skeletal for tomorrow. One of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight, I lost a lot of things, my life, my memory, but there is a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! Me too, dude! That's such a fucking screenshot. I can't read! I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means! If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? Dude, what am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me! But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway. I might as well try to find Prisoner's D99 cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm in there. I can't go back to Lynn empty-handed, but of course a ghost doesn't actually have hands. There's a pad for notepapers hanging on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. Everybody say, lose your uh, wait, careful. I can read. I took my headphones off because I'm terrified. Every single time I get a donation, I always immediately take my headphones off. Just, just, just in case. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for the 420. I can't read. Good. Um, why? What do you mean, why? Well, yes, people do do that. People do spoil and backseat in donations. It's happened before, yes. So I just do it as a precaution. Especially when it's from an anonymous donation.
There's a pad for note papers hanging on the wall. There's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. Well, oh, there's a phone. This telephone. It looks like an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the person. So the only place I can go with this telephone are the other, other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Hmm, that sucks. Oh, an emergency button. An emergency in a prison. It's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Uh oh. Oh! I caused quite an uproar, I guess, and I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see if I want to change the view I can use. Oh! Oh, this dude's painting. Oh my god! They're all using paper. This one's empty. All clear! Oh, so we could... Okay. Okay. So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, yeah? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! What the fuck? Ah! What? By the looks of him, that must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that! Where did he go? What's going on in this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. It has to be saved. Maybe I better check the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow. You can can you even still read? Still can't read! <laughs> But I better get check out prisoners. <laughs> they may can find some kind of information that might help Lynn out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner Lynn is investigating looks like. <laughs> Still can't fucking read! Why can't I... Huh? Looks like the curry lover comes back when he hears the bell. I can't make heads or tails out of his behavior once he gets back, though. But his prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. <laughs> I'll just chop this guy up to it takes all kinds. I better try to find a path to D99 cell. <laughs> He's so weird. Is he like getting up? Okay, all right. But no, I need. Ah! 
<laughs> Same thing here. It looks like this is just an internet internal phone to it doesn't call outside. So the only place I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Wait, but you can't. Okay. Hmm. What a strange smell. The prisoner inside it, and he seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said... D99, even I know about this one. Yeah, he shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of his family member? Uh, a, fa a family member. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective. That's to find out what this patient's work schedule is for tomorrow. Well, can't really do that if you can't read, huh, buddy? <laughs> Photos, eh? Wonder if these are of his family? The one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did you do it out of hatred or some other motion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case, a man murders his wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in, in the article. Yeah, this is prisoner, all right. So work schedule for tomorrow of prisoners D99. The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh, what could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all! I think something was written on the blackboards of the, uh, other prisoners, but this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is... nothing. Will this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care, and so I feel at the moment anyway. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I better get this imp important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Can't do it. Small ghost. D99 dinner! Oh shit. Damn. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, oh, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked. Judging from the way it feels. D99. I know it's kind of pointless to ask now. But just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree. It's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Zhao. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who's the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Of course it's us! <laughs> now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? 
Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man who ca uh, whose case Lin is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lin fast, and not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. What the fuck? anything else here, right? Yeah, seems like it. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside, and I've got questions I want to ask Lim. We've got to get in a place that has an extra external line and fast. Oh, I can't do anything here. I better not set off the emergency alarm right now. The inside of my head is already in the state of emergency as it is. Well, what the fuck do you want me to do? I can't go anywhere else. Um. He's still down there. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought we couldn't use it, but I guess we can. I can't do anything here anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go to the guard room. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Uh, oh, chief, it's you! They're making preparations now. Pro problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cavanella wishes to speak to you. Oh, my God. No, please. Evening, Cavanella here. How are you boys doing? Inspector Cavanella, fine, sir! You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it on, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir! I'll call you right away, sir! Immediately! Don't forget, she's a fugitive, after all. Yes, sir! Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir! Looking forward to seeing you, sir! Oh, my God. But... Why are we supposed to... Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that white suit inspector suspects Lynn, and she's being considered a fugitive. This is not good. What if I should go check in on the chief and then inspect in white too? Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her too. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella, what would a special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess someone, something happened that we don't know about. The night of all things. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Oh. Sorry, drinking. <laughs> Learning in prisoner D99, Detective John, good friends? You, sh you sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's the head of special investigations. He's a very busy man. Oh, wow. But what's wrong? John was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me, rotting away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help it. What am I doing with my life? Th this new side of you is kind of endearing. 
And anyway, um, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards collapsed, you know? <sighs> That's kind of a little fruity. He's fucking for free, dude. For free. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over to prison. Hey, Inspector Cabanello. We were just a little too late, so close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case, the junkyard murder? She did it, eh? No question about it? She's a bad little baby. Don't say that. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. N no way. What if we're the bad guy? I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Fred, I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera taped investigation you just delivered? I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. I hate this dude. Huh, why a murder case now on such an important night? I think you have the wrong. Uh, have that wrong, chief. I English is a hard language, man. I hit. Can he stop with his toes? A murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. You fucker! Oh. The junkyard where I died had a security camera and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the... Cr Cruelest truth imaginable. Oh, oh my God. Hello? Oh, that was spliced. I saw myself shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn took... Looked so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. By the way, Inspector Cabanella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief Amali? I had a look at the, all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, is right, that is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. Well, 
I have the answer to your mystery right here. A few minutes after the murder took place. Uh, who is that cat? Is that a blood cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. It looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. Oh. This is Point X! Come in, Chief! The Chief here! What? Uh, did he show up? Uh, no, sir, not yet, but... Indian, I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important! B but this is important, sir! Somebody else showed up! A rookie detective, Lynn! Huh? What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lamb! What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective, get my baby away from Point X! Do it now, man, and then hold on to her! Yes, sir, I'll go get her now, sir! What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? It took the special investigations unit six months to pinpoint that location! Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Wait, is the, the fucking chicken <laughs> a restaurant? Are you kidding? Perhaps. Um. W what happened, Detective? Come in! Now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. Oh my god. This fucking dude. So Lynn has shown up at some point X, but I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen? What's going on? But one thing is clear, something big just happened. Is she dead again? Dude, this fucking dude is making me nervous. What are you doing? Get your buns over here! But what did you say? Now I finally understand, I finally know what it's like for our poor hungry customers who have their food deliv deliveries delayed! Uh, excuse me? But this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen there you need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left here, I gotta go! Wait! WAIT! Who the fu- What's going on? Something that's what... Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You're going to Point X. Point X, eh? I leave that to the boys. There's some place else I gotta be. Inspector, your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, and I'm going to see it through to the end. Besides... It's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. This guy. Prisoner D99's schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago that I found that out, and now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, the point X, the police have surrounded, sur the police have surrounded, and a place where something big just happened. How will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? Uh, well, I guess we're, uh, we're ending on a, uh, on a cliffhanger. Yeah, put that away, put that away, put it away. Well, now you know. Alright, guys. This game is awesome so far. 
I can't wait to continue, like, the moment, like, on Wednesday. But yeah, look out for, for Wednesday. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be playing the new patch for Final Fantasy XIV after my Japanese lesson. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching for today. Oh. Ugh. All right. Everybody, take care. See you tomorrow. Or for those who care about 14, see you tomorrow. Uh, whatever. See you Wednesday. Uh, see you uh, uh, sometime. Uh, what, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter.